It was tough. Um, you know, me personally, um, when you think about where I came from and I started playing the game, um, you know, I, I go back to, you know, the first time I really watched basketball, which was in 2010, uh, that finals um, against Boston. And uh, that's how I became a Kobe fan. And that's how I became a, you know, I just wanted, I wanted to be like Kobe and I wanted to play basketball. And, you know, a year later, it took a lot of convincing. And I finally started playing ball. And, you know, uh, you know, I've been saying since it happened, uh, I wouldn't have been here if it wasn't for that moment. And if it wasn't for Kobe, uh, I would have probably been playing volleyball somewhere. I, I don't know, or be a doctor. Or, you know, I wanted to be the president of my country. But, you know, if it wasn't for Kobe, I wouldn't. If it wasn't for Kobe, uh, I would have probably been playing volleyball somewhere. I, I don't know, or be a doctor. Or, you know, I wanted to be the president of my country. But, you know, if it wasn't for Kobe, I wouldn't have been, have been here. And then I got to know him a little bit. So it was uh, tr truly heartbreaking. Um, you know, sucks. You called Bobby Jones, the legend, to ask him if you could wear number 24 tonight. Why was that so important to you? It was really important. Like I said, like I just said, uh, I'm here because of him. Uh, I don't think it would have happened. I don't think I would have been in that situation if it wasn't for that moment. So I felt like it was really important for me to come out and, you know, you know, just honor and just play the game. Uh, you know, I wish I could have this number, but, you know, I'm thankful for, you know, the group.